Anakoji, Johan Liebert, Light Yagami, Usugi, Tokichi Towa, Akagi. If you thought characters couldn't get smarter, well, you're wrong. Sora from No Game No Life is pretty much some guy who likes the game, but is also god level at almost every attribute such as critical thinking, IQ, manipulation, emotional intelligence, and pretty much anything you can think of. So now, EG's philosophy is a channel that uses anime characters for self-improvement, so how can we also become like this using what the show has given to us to work with? Well, since I'm the GOAT, let's begin. So to even start grasping at Sora's mindset, we have to see why he has such a unique way of thinking, his strategic gambling manipulative mindset. How can we craft this type of mindset? Well, it'll be the exact same way he did. There was hours of strategy games where you had to pretty much gamble and manipulate your opponents. So games like chess, which they play a lot throughout the series, Mahjong, Civilization, Shogi, Sudoku, Risk, all these games will cultivate your mind and make you more like Sora. You also want to learn anti-cheats along with cheats in every game that I mentioned, every card game and every board game, and also online games as well if you play them online. You want to learn how to do them and how to spot them. You also have to learn how to play every single card game you can think of and every single board game. Am I saying to be a bum and spend all your time playing these games? No, but when you have spare time or want to kill time, do so. Also, when you play, do not play for fun. You need to be in the mindset of Sora. Only play to become the best and win. Do not play for fun. Next, Sora's intellect extends far beyond the virtual realm. You also need to become knowledgeable in the following subjects. Physics, math, philosophy, chemistry, biology, history, and astronomy. I will leave links for each subject in the description below for the amount you need to learn and where to learn it. But here are some good exercises that you need to master. Or just a single exercise that you should master. So I want you guys to count from 1 to 10,000 but with a difficult integers. So you want to start from six. Once you've done it well, move to a different number. Then count up and count down again. If you lose your place, you need to restart. So the next step of becoming like Sora, so I leave all the subjects in the description below, so do that. And then the next step of becoming like Sora is finding the loopholes in the system and disrespecting the systems. This is Sora's trump card. His ability to think outside the box and exploit weaknesses in his opponent's strategies is always what makes him win. So how can we do the same? So number one, in order to find loopholes in the system, first we need to understand the system. So first, we need to thoroughly understand the rules and the mechanics of the system that we're dealing with. So whether it's a game, a set of regulations, or a social structure, knowing the rules inside out is essential. Next, we need to think collaterally. Loopholes often exist where people least expect them, so instead of approaching the problem head on, we need to try to think laterally and consider alternative perspectives, so we'll need to look for unconventional solutions that most people will overlook. So now we need to question assumptions. Challenge assumptions and conventions within the system. Just because something has always been done a certain way doesn't mean it's the only way possible. By questioning established norms, you may undercover opportunities for innovation or exploitation. Then we need to analyze the past instances. So we need to study the past instances where the loopholes were successfully exploited in similar systems. So this can provide valuable insights and inspiration for finding loopholes in our current situation. And then you want to utilize the knowledge gaps. You want to look for areas where there might be gaps in knowledge or understanding within the systems. So for example, if there's a new update or in real life it's a new place that just been built, there's a lot of gaps and just a lot of like lack of experience in those places and we can exploit these gaps by leveraging our own expertise or by introducing new information that others may have not considered. So now that we got that out the way, we need to become a bookworm. Sora has read countless books which creates a wide gap between him and all his competitions. It built a foundation for his knowledge about strategy, manipulation, and psychology. And I have handpicked books and put them in a folder for you guys to read and complete. So go in the description below and start knocking all these books down one by one so you can come closer to your goal of becoming like Sora. Next step is to become cockier and build an ego. 
So how can we even do this? It's confidence. So we need to work on building a genuine confidence in our abilities as we level up. So we need to recognize our strengths and accomplishments and do not be afraid to showcase them. Because we are just, in order to become like Sora, we need to showcase this entire mindset. So this is pretty much what we need to do. And then positive self-talk. This is what we see Sora do throughout the entire series and said, or even in the light novel during the monologues. He practices positive self-talk to reinforce a strong sense of self-worth. Something we also see in the anime and in the light novel is Sora's confident body language. He stands tall, he makes eye contact, and he speaks assertively. This will help you become more cockier and build your ego. And lastly, he owns his mistakes. He embraces failures and setbacks as learning opportunities rather than letting it shake his confidence. Confidence. Next is become a determined individual like Sora. Sora throughout the series we know that he's a determined individual and he's always chasing after his goals. So what you need to do is set clear goals. Define clear and achievable goals that you're passionate about. And you need to be persistent. You need to develop a resilient mindset and be able to persevere in the face of obstacles and challenges. And you want to focus on your progress. Break down your goals into smaller, manageable tasks and celebrate your progress along the way, like Soul Run's hero do. And adaptability. Remain, remain flexible in your approach, but stay steady fast in your commitment to achieving your goals. The next step into becoming like Sora is being a flexible thinker. So in order to become like a flexible thinker, you need to have open-mindedness. You want to cultivate an open mind and be able to willingly consider different perspectives and approaches at all times. Next, you need to embrace change. You cannot stay rigid. The second you see you need to change, you need to just snap your fingers and change right away. So instead of resisting change, see it as an opportunity for growth and innovation. And along with that, you need to practice becoming a skilled improviser like Sora. You need to practice spontaneity. Challenge yourself to think on your feet and make quick decisions in unfamiliar situations. You need to embrace uncertainty. Learn to thrive in uncertain situations by trusting your gut and adapting as needed. You need to be creative like Sora. Cultivate your creativity, creativity by engaging in activities that encourage spontaneity and innovation such as improv theater or brainstorming sessions. In order to do that, you need to stay calm under pressure, so develop techniques for managing stress and staying calm in high pressure situations, which will enable you to think more clearly and make better decisions on the fly. Then lastly, you need to become a combat practitioner. You want to think strategically. You want to approach conflicts with the mindset we have cultivated in the beginning, with a strategic mindset, focusing on achieving your objectives effectively and efficiently and effectively. You want to be able to exploit weaknesses. You want to identify and explo exploit your opponent's weakness while minimizing your own vulnerabilities. And lastly, just qu quick thinking. Develop the ability to make split second decisions and react swiftly to changes in the battlefield. So thank you for watching. Peace on the street. I know this video was long coming, but it's also hard to make these videos on people like Usagi and Sora because they, they're really like kind of unrealistic, broken characters. So it's like, what am I supposed to say? Like, I need. Yeah, they have millions of different abilities that need to stay at once. It's like they not to give like a whole playbook. It's like crazy. But thank you guys for watching. If you want to do my one year white boom program, special exams, class day to D, white room training, 430 slideshow. If you want to join us, uh, the link in the description below. And thank you for watching. Peace on the street.